get ahead of yourself. Yeah. You're looking at Abby the Surf Dog and her owner, Michael. Abby is the reigning champion at the Surf City Surf Dog competition, won the last two years. Well, today, she's going to try to set a world record, and there's actually somebody here from the Guinness World Record uh, group to try to see if she can do that. We'll have that story coming up. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. This is Abby. This is her very expensive surfboard. And over here, well, this is where she is going to try to set a Guinness World Record for surfing. We're in Huntington Beach. We'll have that story coming up. Abby is uh, 813. <laughs> uh, Chipster. Hello. Chipster is on the, uh, on the 18. Hey, Chipster, Chipster. Come in, please. So one way or the other. <laughs> we'll do it. Chip, television. We're on TV. You are on the no, air, we'll Chipster. <laughs> Hey, look alive. I'm just chatting with all these people at the beach, you know. Have, hey, look over here. Look, see that? I got some interesting people to talk oh. to over here, okay? <laughs> you know, you're not look the only people in my life right now. I got the Guinness, Guinness World Record folks. We got Mike uh, Wee over here with Abby. And we're going to get back to Mike and Abby here. They're going to try to set a world record, which is why the lady from Guinness is over here. And then we got Stanley and Craig Haverstick over here. Let's show you some video just to show you what we're talking about, too. You're going to see Stanley on a surfboard. You actually had some GoPro crams set up on that surfboard we're looking at, right? Oh, yes, we did. Uh, we, we put GoPros on a lot of our boards to um, show the dog surfing. And it also helps us uh, you know, practice and, and train the dogs. And he loves it, right? Oh, he, he loves it. <laughs> and, and let's get back over here to Mike and Abby. And, and we're going to talk, look at his surfboard. Look at this surfboard he's got over here, too. You're telling me Abby's got, a, how, how much is Abby's surfboard? How much is your surfboard? I think Abby's surfboard is about seven times more than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and tell us about it. You got a, Abby's got a GPS on her. Why the GPS? Oh, for the record attempt today, we're going to be tracking how far the distance of the ride is. So we've got this um, expertly set up duct tape GPS on top of her wetsuit so that we can measure that. And this is what's going on. Abby is going to try to set a world record for the longest ride for a dog ever. It's a record that actually does not exist right now, which is why Freddie Hoff from Guinness World Records is here. How in the world do you start a new world record? I, I guess you have no kind of data of anything else like this on record. What, what's, the, what's the situation? How are you going to determine whether this sets a world record today? Well, we have uh, records managers within each category, and they will look at a record, see if it's interesting. And then if they find it interesting, they will do research on what exactly that would entail and how much the minimum should be. And, and getting you all the way out here from New York is obviously, uh, you, you think it's somewhat interesting, I would think, already, right? Absolutely. And, and so the GPS, how are you going to use that? Um, we're going to check it with the computer and see just how far she actually surfed. Okay. So. And now, Abby here, we should talk to Mike a little more about Abby. Abby uh, is the reigning champion, one of the reasons she's going to be the one trying for this world record. How did Abby get into surfing? She got into surfing because I like swimming in the ocean, and uh, we put her on the board as a joke one day, and she just stood up on it. So we tried putting her in the wave, and she just balanced, and we figured that would... Uh, that would do it, so she wrote it in. Which is kind of funny because we talked to some other surfers earlier, dog surfers and their owners. We didn't talk to the dogs, actually. Well, we talked to them. They didn't talk back. They tried to bite me. But that's another story. But the owners of the dogs actually... All the ones we've talked to so far, not great surfers themselves. The dogs, however, becoming big celebrities in this. One other record they're going to try to set today is going to be the most dogs on one surfboard. Right now, do you? is there any record for that one right now, most dogs on a surfboard? That one, that one, uh, they uh, have about five dogs, I think, is the last record. Like she said, it's not a, an official record, but they're going to try to get more than five on the ones of today. So we'll take one more look at the dogs over here, look at the ocean, and hopefully we'll get some of those dogs in there. We've been trying to get some of the dogs in there for you live this morning, but everyone we asked, well, this is a, a very competitive thing. They want their dogs to rest for the real competition, so didn't want to get them out there just to get them on TV. We would <laughs> not to want guys. to be responsible yeah. for a broken world record. No. So, I mean, or for a non-broken right. world there record. You go. There's stuff going on all day. They've got the finals <laughs> coming up at 1.30. There's the schedule, and we've got the information at KTLA.com. It is now 8.17, Miss Wendy. Time is flying by. Okay, uh, in today's Burroughs Bites. You're looking at Abby the Surf Dog and her owner, Michael. Abby is the reigning champion at the Surf City Surf Dog competition, won the last two years. Well, today, she's going to try to set a world record, and there's actually somebody here from the Guinness World Record uh, group to try to see if she can do that. We'll have that story coming up. If you win, is Well, it's not the first time a surfer has tried to set a world record at Huntington Beach, but it may be the first time a surfer dog was trying to set that record. Kate Lay's Chip Yost 
with his hat on. I like the hat. He shows us how the canine surfing competition went. Take a look. Abby doesn't know it, but it's possible she's about to make history, which is why she has a GPS on. We're going to be tracking how far the distance of the ride is, so we've got this um, expertly set up duct tape GPS on top of her wetsuit so that we can measure that. Abby and her owner, Michael Wee, are trying to set the first ever world record for longest surf ride for a dog. And just to make sure there's no quibbling about it, a representative from Guinness World Records was here to monitor the attempt. Guinness also did some research and established the criteria for how far Abby would need to go. The minimum uh, today is 30 yards. Okay. So uh, if she serves more than 30 yards, she will have broken the record. The world record attempt was made Sunday at the Surf City Surf Dog Competition in Huntington Beach, where experienced dog surfers and those not so used to that cold ocean water came together. <laughs> right around 9 a.m., Abby, with some help, tried to leave her paw print on the record books. And with cameras clicking, she did, going more than 65 yards, more than double what she needed. How do you feel right now? I feel great. I, I think she's happy, but I think she's uh, <laughs> she's looking at squirrels again. She has no idea what she just did, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, she stuck one out there for dog kind. <laughs> Abby will now get her own page on the Guinness World Record website, but whether or not she gets her own page in the next Guinness Book of World Records depends on whether or not one of these other dogs beats her record before the next book is published in Huntington Beach. I'm Chip Yost, KTLA News. I want to see Chip on a board with a hat. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I like Chip with the hat. Yeah. He looks good. He looks good. Well, still ahead, there is so much more news here at 6 o'clock, including details on a prominent...